And now for the conclusion. Welcome back to the Reflex GT2 V2 Grand Final for Halo Reach. I'm joined here on the sofa by none other than Zorda, organizer and head of Reflex GT. My name is Acebeck. And on the pro side of things, we have got ourselves a pro in the corner. On Skype, his name is Default. He is in an apartment with very, very loud people. And we are ready to go on the way into yes, this that's right. grand uh, final. What are we going for? Uh, sanctuary. sanctuary. Oh, we're going to start off with Sanctuary. Slayer sanctuary. No, I thought, are you sure? Because One I got, I got oh, Zealot, then Sanctuary, bad. then Element. I made a mistake. Oh, you made a boo-boo. All right. Okay. Oh. Team Slayer Zealots in three, two, one. Go. Let's go live, live, live. We are just getting ourselves underway here on Zealot, which is the first map here in the series. For those people that are wondering what this is all about, this is Halo Reach. It is Lowland Lines Bucks versus the Apex Robba and Zao. Zao, Robba, who had himself an absolutely astounding, astounding uh, matchup on Sanctuary earlier today which uh, you will be able to see back on our YouTube channel, which you can find at chaostv.nl slash YouTube. And uh, that's going to go up there under the section of Special Super Awesome. Sanctuary uh, Zealot. So far, already a fairly slow match pay. Robba finds himself the wrong end of uh, 20, who will be looking at the POV from this time around. And he may actually be able to duck on Zalk as well. Although his brother, 57, holds himself steady. Talking about the teams in the meantime, though, we got ourselves Buck 20 and Buck 57. Two teammates, two brothers, two twins. On the other hand, we got ourselves Apex Robba versus Apex Zalk. Let's see how they can turn this ball of yarn into towards a nicely, neatly knit sweater. 5-0 leads, so seeing the Bucks doing pretty well, a good start for them. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Already, uh... Jesus, 6-0, 7-0. Oh, no, not 7. Well, yeah, Robba, you're getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Default. Robba may be good, may be uh, on the wrong end of DMR there, but it does not automatically mean that he will die. Oh, the ball yeah, comes... Up, oh, away. Zog, what? Oh! Sublime play that that grenade knocked off all the shield and then right there the DMR did the rest. Close call indeed being called out. I don't think that was just uh, Buck 20 skill. I think there was a little bit of Xbox Live in the works there, but you can't always have everything. Sometimes, sometimes Lady Luck will throw you a bonus. Zalok once again being on the wrong end. Look at this evade though. Very, very oh. nice. Not too much as Robbo throws in his grenades and locks him down. Here on Zealot though, what kind of positions do you want to take if you are want if you want to be in control of the map? Do you want to sit on the golden, for instance? Yeah, or just for, on top? Uh, if, you, if you can control the gold, uh gold in the landings, you pretty much set up. Especially if you have a sniper up there. It's really hard to push uh from 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 either side of the base to get get the gold or landing position. So when a sniper spawns, and the sniper always spawns at gold, it's going to be a very hard position to take over. If you see uh, if you see the box right here, trying to hold down the gold, and, and maybe top mid even, it's a good place to hide and just overview the whole map. And Bucks uh, using uh, the map to their advantage right here. Yeah, absolutely. Great. They're holding their ground on the gold. Well, even Ro Robba does manage to take down 20. But the counter already comes in by 57. Uh, so the play-by-play -play has been quite well. Done quite well. Zog, once again, look at this, 11 to 4. It does look like the, uh, the Lowland Lions team is pretty much raging through Apex right now. Very, 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 very strong play. Yes, great play from Buck Twain. You haven't seen him really miss that much shots right now. Great use of the grenade launcher. Oh, here again. Making Zalk one shot. Great grenades. Oh, actually got away there. But it's just amazing DMRs and, and, and grenade launcher use from Buck 20 right now. Mm -hmm. I don't think if uh, Buck 20 and Buck 57 play at this level, any, any two duo in a circle can beat them. I think they're one of the best duos out there. Well, if you're the, the thing about this particular duo is a the brothers, and two even beyond that they're twins. So you're gonna have a feel for each other. That came out wrong, and 
Yeah, they, 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 gotta, they, 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 they know each other f extremely well. More than and anybody they, else does. And they have the screens next to each other. That's always a big help if you can just watch uh, your brother's screen where, the, where your opponents are. Always a big plus uh, to have. Actually, uh, Apex and Zoe, uh, Apex uh, got control of gold and the landings and... Yeah, pretty much that as uh, default decides to fall back at a second, considering there's some apparently some issues on his end. But again, from the perspective of 20, oh, b b b great positioning there. Takes Zog down and will get himself that double onto a drama. And that right there will open the door to great yet double. more, more play. Zog being primary straight away. Nice play. Gotta get himself the third. No problem there. And again, yeah, look at his positioning. Again, yeah. going constantly through the tele uh, through the uh, the teleporter on towards the top, and just holding himself steady. No problem there. Getting himself kill after kill after kill after kill. Twenty is doing it strong. Oh, that Nate. Ooh, almost no shield remaining. Hides with his brother, providing some cover for him. Seeing uh, Zalk uh, trying to go up to jump up. Apex not in a really good position that right here. Mark 20 going for the chase. Doesn't get the kill, but gets the assist though. No, he spots out. Probably gonna let Buck 57 clean it up. Yeah, there he kind of has to. He's very low on health, and even though if he, if his shields are down, then that right there would pretty much be the end. Yeah, this could probably be the end of him right here, oh. unless yeah, exactly. Too Didn't low on health. Boom. Yeah, it, the first three shots were perfect. Great use of his bloom and nice pacing, but the last, last shot it was too much spam. And you see the tri you see the bullets flying around Robert's head, and instead of hitting the head. So nice snipe there from Robert, forcing Buck Twenty to back down, going for the jet pa for the for the for the map pack. You see Apex controlling uh, top gold and top middle. With a grenade launcher or a sniper combination. Oh, Sticky oh. coming in as well. Oh, oh. Barely. Oh, bad positioning. How does he survive that? I have no idea how that managed to go, but he goes down in the end, though. 21 versus 12. The brothers have this on lockdown. Zog tries to get away. Nate comes in on the jump. Uh, oh, he headshots back and forth. No problem there. He's going to go down. Raba oh. being pushed towards the corner. And yeah, yeah there we go. Zog being spotted top middle, Buck 57 taking him down. Oh, great DMR from Buck 20. Does he go for the? Yep, he oh, does. Very nicely done. Two more kills remaining for the brothers right now. 20 and 57 holding steady here on Zealot. And if they keep on going like this and they pick up the last two kills, we will be moving on to Sanctuary, where uh, our good old friend Zorda thought that we are going to move on uh, initially. Wrong he was. But again, it's uh, it's the it's the final right now. We've got a 24-13 lead, so uh, that shows how great great duo the Bucks are. Even though all the advantages we just pointed out, being being twins and living together, just but they are really good players, even on land. So. Mm. Well, they only need one more kill, and they're moving together. Zog would be the final lamb to the slaughter. There it goes. And finally, it is all wrapped up. Map number one on Zalot will move on in towards the hands of the brothers. We'll be uh, we're gonna get ready to gear up for map number two, which is gonna be Sanctuary. I'm definitely looking forward to that one for obvious reasons. I'm based on the fact that Sanctuary is probably the most super awesomest map ever created for this game. Default, are you still with us? I guess not. So we're getting ready. Yep. Oh, 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 there yeah. he is. I was getting I'm just a little pressing bit. the mute button from time to time. Just, just keep on pressing it, pressing it. Maybe, maybe it will do something. In the meantime, though, if you're wondering what is going on here, you're watching Chaos TV. My name is Aspect Live here on the commentary sofa with G Reflect GT, Maestro, Founder, and Super Supreme Dictator for Life, Xorda. And, uh, uh, 
That was a nice one. I, I like know, that. I know, yeah. So I'm, I'm very creative. I like think that. I'm going to end my all my emails with that line. <laughs> super. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like founder, uh, owner, and super awesome dictator for life. That one? Yeah. That one? Sounds good. That's, uh, I, I'm sure that comes over very professionally. And on the Skype, we have our pro in the corner, which is default. He's currently in an apartment filled to the brim with extremely rowdy and most likely drunk housemates who are constantly yelling through the screen stream we're very very excited about this and uh we will probably get buck 20 uh in the yep. skype channel oh wow. for a little interview that is quite sexy. after this uh this after after these games after yeah. these games if we go no all the way down to win, no, course, no nobody knows who's gonna win this obviously we'll just invite buck yes yes he's right. gonna he's gonna talk to us about his play style and how it works to live with a player who also happens to be his brother his twin and partner in crime. Right. Let's go. Uh, ready to go. Let's do the countdown. Uh, default? Yep. Bro. All right. Three, two, two one. one. Go. Robot roll call. Here we are. We are on Sanctuary. It's oh, map number fuck. two. Wrong map? Yep. Oh, no, all you right. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it looks like our pro in the corner has failed miserably and loaded the wrong map. Uh, I got good. element TS. That's the next one. <laughs> that is the next one. We have, we have. We're gonna wait. And this is the best of five, so there's definitely a next one coming up. Remember, remember this. Especially Once. though, uh, in the meantime, we can just have a little bit of a chat of what we have coming up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, for those people that were here yesterday on the stream, there was the 1.6 Aces Summer Challenge. All the VODs for that are available right now. And, of course, we've got more Reflex GT coming up tomorrow. 2v2 Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, on your screen. So if you want to uh, see anything like that, be sure to check that out. I'm sure what time do you think we're going to be beginning on that one? Around 7-ish? Yeah, that is what we're aiming for. Well, we we're looking then to... Uh, actually, we're dependent of... Uh, oh, knife. Knife her. Yeah. yeah. He, he has Yo, to work till like five, and then he comes straight to the chaos. Fair enough. Fair TV enough. TV studio. Yes, yeah, so a studio here in Waste, the Netherlands. It's 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 very interesting. It's it's very different from what your standard commentators used to. It's not, we're not sitting in front of our TV. No, we've got ourselves backgrounds. We got ourselves a sofa. It's quite amazing. Um, I'm, okay. we, got, we like we, and you can't see this right now because if I hold up a mirror, you would see a massive wall of nothing but screens. And a producer sitting there smirking at me, telling me that I'm a complete and total baller. Let's get ready to go, because yep. uh, all I need now is a mirror on my side here. Like, like just out of, out of the screen, just every once in a while, I can just look to the right. Okay, spec. All right, let's go. Let's go, sort of. All right. <laughs> <laughs> let's go for the countdown. Since we're in the Netherlands. Three, yep. two, one, go. Alonso. Go. Go. I feel like sanctuary. Default has managed to load the correct ma map, ladies and gentlemen. Cool. It is absolutely astounding. The rush is on. We are currently spectating from the perspective of number 20. Will his brother 57 nice get the. On his brother there. Yeah, did he actually manage to get the, uh, the camo? I think he did. Yep. And he will. Is he going to get the other snipe? Is what I'm wondering right now. No, he won't. Because uh, Robot will take him down with the snipe himself. And. All right, off the bat, not a very good start at all. They managed to get himself the camo, but are at a three-all deficit and not even getting themselves that kill on Robert that they so much deserve. Can Zog do anything here? I don't think he will because uh, he's going to go down. Nice night, though. Very nice. Yeah, great aggressive start from Apex from the beginning. Uh, Zog uh, stealing the Buckster Sniper and uh, Robert on uh, on Kardash. Probably should have got more kills out of that. But they didn't. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, great now. Snipe once again inside the circle, Zog. Whoa, that right there is a uh, no scope and a half. Gets double. the second one as well. Sublime play. Can he get the third onto it, Zog? Oh, again, a no scope. This right and gets the shot to begin with. Three kills in a row with that snipe. DMR to finish it all off. All of those were no scopes. Plasma, the grain in the hand, and let's charge it up. 
because there it comes the spam and a DMR to finish it off on the jetpack. Oh, great use of the jetpack. Yeah, not enough though because oh. uh, 57 sees a massive bullseye in the air. Finish that one off and now Robert goes down oh. as well. We haven't seen 20 die for a good while. Can he get back to the base towards the health pack? He needs to get the shield ready to roll. He needs to get that health pack out or he's going to die miserably because now, right now he's just cannon fodder, as he says. Saw kills him off. Should probably have fallen back to the base to get the health pack. Well, we'll see. Uh, it's a close game right now. 6 5 for, uh, in the lead for the Bucks. See what's going to happen. The camera coming up. Apex actually managed to get away with it. See if Robber can, uh, can put it to use. Well, Saw getting out DMR there. Pretty bad by, uh, by Buck 20. Nice pace of his DMR. Stick controlling the ring, looking for for Robber. Oh, he's actually Robber's actually back in the box base. Yeah, and he's got himself a snipe. Uh, can he get in there with the DMR? Uh, I think he. Well, oh, nice game of cat and mouse. And Robber actually has got himself the camo. Had himself the camo for a while. Nice hat shot the boot. And Zog ready to go as well. Nate coming in. Smart way choice to back down there was a 2v1 on, on the other side of the on the box side of the base so good decision to back off and wait for Robert to spawn and try to get an angle on uh, one of the box oh great crouching there by Zao <laughs> just uh, crouched before uh, buck 20 uh, got the headshot that's an interesting thing to say great crouching yeah well, I was like I'm on the side of the middle of the street I'm gonna crouch because it's great Nice shot there, regardless, as uh, 20 picks up yet another one on Raba. Currently, the score 9 to 7 is really going back and forth and back and forth once more. Still, though, ooh, Raba in a rock and a hard, between a rock and a hard place. How he gets out of that is slightly beyond me. Does manage to get the assist as uh, 57 picks, uh, picks him back up. And nice uh, snipe by 57. Yeah, they looks like they're going to get them spawn locked. There's the jet. Yeah. Oh, the spawning uh, right snipe there. courtyard. I think that's a more luckier spawn that he could have got. If they got spawned at rocks, it would have been... Uh, yeah, they would have been annihilated with DMR from long range. But he keeps him off the platform. Very true. nicely done. DMR off the way. He's got no health. He needs to get to the health back on the base. Not gonna happen. Uh, not gonna be able to do so. Zog takes him down. That's gonna make the score 14 to 8. Only 10 more points, 11 more points remaining for the Lowland Lions team. Can Apex do this? They can still gain the momentum. Seventy six points is only six points. It is. Buck twenty just picked up the sniper, just hanging back, going in the behind of their base, waiting for his brother to spawn. For for to make the push. Oh, Apex. Oh, great Ooh. no scope there on Robba. Robba has to back down and he goes for Zhao. Zawok, uh, again, oh, being pummeled again, once again in midair. That would have been a good shot there if he managed to connect it. But the counter nice guy, snipe does come in. And all of a sudden, it's 15 to 13. Six points, have, three points out of the six have been made up for. And it does look like the Apex team are slowly but steadily inching their way forward in back and towards the prayer. Grenade comes in. Oh, again, no shield remaining. And Raba will finish off 20 right there. 15 to 15. Great aggressive push of Apex, but great teamwork from uh, from the Bucks. Double kill. Getting, uh, the, getting the double kill right there. But Apex has to stay aggressive. If they want to get back into this game, get back into the series, they can't just lean back in their base. They have to try to get behind the Bucks, get some double kills, try to get them off spawn. But... It doesn't really seem to work for them. Bucks are playing really aggressive well, staying at the at their snipe, trying to catch them off guard. Oh, nice, uh, nice teamwork there from uh, the Bucks. Yeah, they are holding their ground quite nicely, even though even when they're split up for just one second, they seem to go down, even though Zog gets 57 as well. Gets himself the double out of that one. On the respawn inside the base, they won't be spawn locked just yet because, you know, look, 20 is going to DMR himself out of that position across the map and he's got himself the snipe as well in addition to the jump uh, to the jetpack ah he nice. got a nice one jetpack. see how, how high he gets and how many angles he's got with the sniper it's great use of the jetpack oh yes even though <laughs> he just even turns though? himself into a giant 
it, uh, targeting reticle. Just yeah, it's there. true, but not many players expect people to, uh, to jet up back up that high. All right. That's not the first place you look, so you get maybe you get the first shot off, but it's it's a great way to get more angles on other players. And if the if uh, if your teammates covers you well, it's always a great use of the jetpack to just try and get as high as you can and get a good angle on uh, your opponents. Absolutely, it's 23 to 19 right now, and it's definitely looking very 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 good for the Bucks. Oh, great teamwork again. Double pummel. Oh, oh I think he actually killed his brother. I think he did as well, yeah. On match point. So it's not that big. Oh, I think that was a blood shot on, uh, on Bakhtarini's head there from uh, from Roa. But he still goes down by Zo Zauk, his great nades. 24 to 21. I think this is going to be it for for Apex if they get down 2-0 pretty hard to get get back into this series yeah pretty much nigh well it's not nigh impossible they've got four kills to go they're holding in the base as long as they can and is waiting for Apex to make their move one two three couple mates there we go these kind of pop shots that's what you want but it doesn't really matter because the health pack is right there still though are they going to go for the circle? Hold them steady. They're just, uh, I think uh, Buck 20 is just going to wait for his brother to get uh, get an angle with the, with the sniper and wait for him to get a headshot on either Body Lotion or Cyrus to finish up this game. Well, they don't have much time to do so. Buck 57 actually saying in the chat that Robo and Zoic are hiding for the next minute or so. So. Uh, <laughs> and here they were oh. saying this. Oh! Robo takes down 57, 24 to 22. Pressure is on. Snipe is in the hands of 20, though. That right there is still a dangerous, dangerous tool. Nice one. Okay, it's getting turning into a slow, slow-paced game again, but it's a lot of money on the line. It's the final. <laughs> So, we'll just wait and see if Buck20 gets an angle on uh, on any of the uh, Apex players. I think I actually called on Cyrus and Body Lotion uh, just a couple of seconds ago, my mistake. But, of course, we're playing against Robo and Zauk. And we're just waiting for Buck20 to get... Push out of his base. Oh, he's, I think he's... he spots a, an Apex player in the in red base. He's looking for him. Slowly but steadily on the prowl. It's like a jaw scene. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Yeah, the and... thing about jaws is, though, that you could, always, that you could never see the shark coming, so that's a little bit different. Hey, you don't see the snipe coming. <laughs> DMR. On standby, in towards the circle they go. First shots being pulled off. On towards the left oh. side they are. The first shields have been popped down. In towards the rocks they go. There, there you have it. 25 to 22. And that right there is going to put Lowland Lions buck on the match map. They need one more to win this series. We're going to move on towards map number three which is going to be none other than Team Slayer Element. What a slow game that was, all the way down to the end. A little bit of a tense situation there, but as soon as they were slowly but steadily building up, when finally exploding in towards violence. Are we ready to go in towards map number three there? Uh, good old. Uh, uh, let's see. Last game of the tournament. Yes, absolutely. Well, we don't know that yet. Oh, shit. We don't know that yet. Right. <laughs> My mistake. It's a secret. Could be the last game of the tournament. It has potential to be the last match of this tournament. Because right now, we, we, we because Low and Lions Buck, obviously, they've got two maps ahead of themselves. They've been playing very, very strongly. But let's not count out Apex just yet. Shall we do a countdown, good old Zarda? Uh, in a few seconds. Oh, 
in a few seconds. Oh, well, fuck. at least this will be a fast-paced game. It's, <laughs> I don't see this turning into a standoff. It's way too, way too, too small of a map to get. So you're, actually, you're, uh, you're, you're expecting a fast-paced slaughter fest here on Element. I hope so. I, I think it will. I hope so, too. But I'll think I Apex will. is going to win this I, 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 I think, think I, I, I think actually, Apex is going to take... I know Apex three. is oh, yeah, sick on too. Element. Yes. Five, yeah. five bucks on Apex right now. Well, what is it with you and bucks on stuff? <laughs> oh, I didn't even thought about that. Bucks okay, five dollars. Okay, you do realize <laughs> the exchange rate for dollars is absolutely abysmal, right? What do you think I like to get paid in euros or pounds? Euros. Uh, Fuck sorry. the pounds. Oh, sorry. For my English. Oh, yeah, rubles. <laughs> what was this yesterday? There was a tournament. 250,000 rubles. Well, what is it again? What is it again? Uh... No, yeah, 8,500 euros. I think this tournament is like 50 zillion Zimbabwe dollars. <laughs> Seriously. 50 I, I'm zillion not joking. I'm not Zimbabwe even joking. Zimbabwe dollars. <laughs> Speaking of which, the winner of this tournament goes home with one... 100 euros. Second uh, for second runner up? Well, nothing. They nothing. get nothing because they are the first loser and they should the not be rewarded for Well, that. actually, they do get rank points, which will be used oh, for this is future true. Because, because if you go on towards the Halo Reach forums, it, people have decided that uh, Reflex GT uh, r r uh, ranking points are actually really awesome. And they have, like, there's, there's whole threads on there trying to figure out like they haven't allocated those points yet. How many points do we have right now? Sort of, have you actually sat down and fixed this issue yet? I'm working are on it. He's working yeah, on it. I'm okay, working guys. On it. If you are if you're really if you're visiting from uh, <laughs> the Halo Reach forums, don't worry. Zorda's on the case. I'm working he's on, on it. it. He's on it. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, let's, go. Right now. Yeah. let's go into what's the let's go with the right. potentially be the last map here on the two v two. Grand final for Reflex GT Online Season 3 Halo Reach 100 Euro Grand Final. And I just said all of that in one breath. Let's go for the countdown. Zorda, for one more time. Three, eight, Let's go live, go. live, yeah. live. It's Elements. It is sexy. It is awesome. It is hectic. It is amazing. Let's go into the game. For those people that don't know how this works, first to 25 wins. Well, we see Buck 20 going for the grenade launcher. Already having himself Great. a good positioning there. A lot of the grenades did not get inside the uh, grenade launcher area. Whoa, Rubba getting taken down early on. The grenade launcher is right there. Zao gets shut down for his effort. Good positioning there, to say the least. Wow, what a grenade. And what a way to finish that one off with the DMR. What a play. Three kills from Buck 20. Really impressive start of the Bucks. Apex have to just get back into this. Don't don't let them uh, let this start affect them in this game. Just see if they can get back into this game right now. Yeah, absolutely. The DM, uh, the grenade play did not actually end up too far, and uh, Box uh, 57 is actually getting shut down left, right, and center. And we actually have Zog now once again being popped off. It's the score is 4v2. Remember. Uh, the Apex team will need to win this map in order to keep themselves in the series. We had the match up on the previous maps, which were Sanctuary and Zealot, both very, very, very slow paced. So far here on Element, it has been, well, no, no holes bar fighting. That's true. What is Wait, to Buck 20 get response right now. Looks for his brother. He's going top mid. Buck 20 tries to help him out. Buck 57 just hides around the corner. Waits. Oh, no, great nades there from uh, Buck 20 on Zalk. Robot is alone right now. The Bucks will try to swarm him right now before uh, Zoak spawns. Uh, Buck 20 actually sees Zoak spawn. Using the green gun really well. Mm -hmm. Getting no shields. See if he can finish off the kill. Oh, I don't know why those nades didn't kill him, but oh, there we go. Xbox Live. Xbox Live, Xbox of course. Xbox Live. But let's just hope it didn't affect the game that much, but we'll hear it from... Uh, we can actually hear it uh, after the game. I heard you guys are going to get the, one of the boxes in here, so we can actually uh, ask how big of an effect their uh, their connection is to uh, playing on Xbox Live. Yeah, absolutely. As we see uh, 20 picking up the grenade launcher in combination with uh, the camo. Oh, hello there. Deadly. 
very deadly. Good Zog fine. down and another uh, a bit of bit of an awkward positioning on the grenade launcher. But uh, Raba once again going down again. It's 11 to six. This series could come towards an absolutely explosive ending. Very very fast play again. Such well positioning. The position is absolutely sublime here for 20. Holding himself steady. He knows his brother is down, so he have to hold back a little bit. Staying on the ramp, falling back when his shields are down, and letting his brother finish up the kill. Just like that. Assist comes in. 57 will pick up the kill, and 20 will get themselves the assist. Score is currently 13 to 8. It's still definitely possible for the Apex team, but they really need to start to uh, get their lead out, and that almost looked like an own grenade, but it was actually a rubber's grenade taking down 20. Well, Bucks getting uh, spawned together now. This is a good opportunity for Apex to get the spawn trap uh, the Bucks right here, but seems to they seem to be able to walk out of here. Oh, well, Bucks putting heavy heavy fire on him. Mm -hmm. Getting back, taken down by Zalk. Apex in the hunt of uh, Buck 57, but Buck 20 unfortunately spawns right side beside him. <laughs> nice DMR from uh, Zalk and great names from Robot. 13 all. 13 all indeed. We had ourselves, it seems we have ourselves a fight. Ooh. As uh, once again, Zao going down. Oh, Raba putting himself in the worst possible position he could possibly into. And uh, getting himself shut down for his troubles. 15 to 13, and looks like Zog is going to drop himself down. And again, look at the DMR. Very well paced. Very impressive. He just. Puts the shot in, and he knows his brother is gonna finish off his kill. So, it's really good, good gameplay, good, good teamwork from the box. You can always see it. They just need, they know if they put a few shots in, he, he just turns around. He just shot so up, but he knows his brother is gonna finish off the kill. He's just gonna not bother with him, wait for uh, his brother to finish up his kill, and just look for the other opponent. <laughs> And would be the cases right now. 20 just sitting by, looking over. Yeah, Raba is going to get shut down out of this one because 20, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't even need his brother. To go. Oh, wow. Mid-air headshot on that one. And he's going to have oh. to finish that one off with the man. We have a pistol. <laughs> pistol kill in the way. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no way. oh, yeah, we did. Yes. And it was a headshot as well. Zoa so comes to respawn and gets himself another one. Or at least his brother did. It's 21 to 14. Four more kills for the twins in order to tie this all up and win themselves 100 euros in this 2v2 cup. We started a long time ago. And now it's tonight. There is the conclusion of the Reflex GT 2v2. Oh, my God. What a shot here. Magnuming it up, and it's just a rampage with that Get pistol. An assist. Great, oh, amazing plays here from the Bucks. They're just destroying uh, Apex right here. Last kill, and there we have it. And there it is. It is 25 to 14 in this last matchup in this grand final. Well, looks like the Bucks only needed themselves three, three, uh, three maps in total to pull it all off and win themselves 100 euros in this Reflex GT 2v2 Cup in season three of the online segment of the series. Congratulations, yeah, Bucks. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's the second time they won a Reflex GT online. online. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. What's the first time they won? Then I think you think it was like one year ago, which was uh, <laughs> which was this Halo, uh, which was ODST. Halo three, no. Or ODST. ODST, no. three. Yeah, uh, ODST was just like an update oh. on Halo three, but. And in the meantime, though, uh, default. What do you do? You have anything to add to this series before we can? Uh, we're gonna hop on towards Skype and try to get an interview with one of the players. Well, I think uh, the best duo eventually won the tournament, uh, and uh, the other best duo, second best, Robin and Zao, got into the finals. Maybe I expect a little bit more about Gunner and uh, Wet Tiger, but right, yeah, exactly, yeah, or Cyrus or Body Lotion. It actually was a pretty, uh, pretty good duos in this tournament. I actually expect also a little bit more about Cyrus and Body Lotion, but I think it's just uh, the connection that play uh, that favored uh, the Bucks and, uh, and the Apex a little bit more. It's just really the, the skill gaps between uh, like Buck 20 or Cyrus and Body Lotion or, or Buck 57 is not that 
big. But if you put in the connection and uh, the fact that the brothers uh, have a screen in the same room, it just it just helps out a lot, and that will tip the scale into in favor of the Bucks, uh, in favor of uh, the other teams. So there you have it. Yeah, Bucks. absolutely. Um, yeah, are we ready to go there, Azorda? On the uh, Let's speak to uh, Buck Twenty. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, we're going to try to get him on towards the air. Uh, in addition, Zorda, can we expect more of these 2v2 tournaments in the future? Uh, yes, definitely. We will try to do at least one online tournament in between our own LAN events. Right. Um, I think the next one will be a 4v4. Not sure about that yet, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, first Reflex GT5, September, October. So expect the sign-ups for the next Reflex GT Online Tournament uh, at around October. All right, fair enough. They have heard it for the first time here, live on the air. The next tournaments are coming up in October for the online segment for Reflex GT. All right, I'm going to call Buck20 now. Uh, yeah, we oh, can. Uh, I've already pushed. He's already, it, it will be coming. He's already yeah. pushed in the button. So uh, let's see uh, who we have. There we go. Hey, hey Buck. Hey. Hey, Buck. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. You? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, how, how are you doing? How is your brother? 